Hi everyone, that's Finn and Nicola and And that'll be George Nicola. Are George you sure? George, Nicola. George are we with twins? Uh oh, what happened to oh that's all right. <laughs> are we twins? We're twins, twins. We are yeah, twins. Yeah, we twins. are twins. Twins, twins. Desperate had a bit of a rough day, eh, Bubby? Oh bit my stressed out. Gosh. Yeah. If everything yeah, could go wrong today. We had a shit day. Like everything went wrong. Oh shit day. But here I am showing up, you guys. I am showing up. Fronting up, eh, bub? Honestly, I actually told her don't do it tonight because you were like totally stressed and then no, your dogs were we, freaking out. We, we show up. And you were amazing. We show You're up. You were amazing, but you show we up. We show up no matter and what happens. Show up. Yeah. That, okay. No matter what you're going through, man, Good you, on you show you up. You had it rough today, man. Damn. Yeah. Sometimes life can get you a bit down. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day... You I said, hey, I said, don't do the life because you're, you're a bit black. And you said, nah, I'm going to do it. I have to do it. Yeah, and that's, that's how life is. I am committed to you guys. No matter what types. happens, you're an I am myself. so committed. You're an inspiration. I'm type. committed. So that's what it's about, standing up. Even though when everything goes against you, you stand up. Um, today, um, we're going to be looking at betrayal. Betrayal? And we're going to be looking at, you know, you know, the, 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 the complex emotions that go with it. Um, because sometimes people can really, really hurt you yeah. and bring you way, way down. They can just, you know, and, and, and we can't control that. We can't control what other people do to us. Or think of them. Or, yeah, we, but we can control how we perceive and how we react. I mean, um, we're going today into the depths of resentment and nice. the depths of and how powerful resentment is and how we can transmute it into something something so beautiful. We're looking at that can you today. That, that last okay. Um, now, people they're living their own lives. We're living our own lives. Yeah. And sometimes people hurt us. And it makes us so resentful. It makes us so angry. It makes us feel so betrayed. Um, and and the thing is, we can't control that. We we cannot control what other people do to us. Yeah. Okay, that's something that we cannot control. But what we can control is the way we react to it. We respond to it. That is yeah. totally it. The way yeah. we stand up, the way we... The way we behave. Yeah. And that's what we're looking at today. The heart. And how our spirit doesn't have to take on that negative energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we're looking at today. Um, now, I'm allowed to share this this story because it is... I'm allowed. My friend told me I can share it. Um, but you guys at home, I'm going to tell you a little story. And in this story, I'm going to um, give you the meaning of transmuting pain into total love wow. and being at peace. <clears throat> and it's a true story. Okay. Now, you guys, close your eyes and picture this. Um, I'm at a restaurant. I arrived a little bit earlier than my friend Nikki. And I'm browsing through the menu. Yeah. I'm going through the menu. Beautiful ambience in the in the restaurant. Music, nice decor, everything beautiful. Looking at the menu, looking at the vegetarian dishes, of course. Now I look up. I see my friend coming through the door. Mm -hmm. Oh man, anguish, pain in her eyes, her body language, slump. Totally not my friend, Nikki. Totally not my friend. Very concerned. She slumps down in a in the chair next to me. Very, very tearful. Um, I ask her what's wrong. She goes, why did he leave me? Her voice is shaking. Yeah. Her voice is shaking and she pours out all her insecurity. Okay. She pours out, is it because I'm not good good enough? What is it about me? My looks? Is it my style? Is it, I don't know, what is it about me? There is, 
I can see three things. Confusion, mm -hmm. anger, and heartache. And heartache. Yep. Total, yeah. total heartache. Did you listen carefully? Anna? I did. And what came to mind? My divorce. I've been there, done that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what came to mind was this pain, this um, betrayal, this... All of these emotions stirred up. The memories of my messy divorce. Totally, totally. I came the feelings of anger, betrayal, yeah, weight yeah, of... Sure. Yeah, You know, the unanswered question, the why. Why? Um, and the thing is that then I stepped back from the past. I totally stepped back. And I saw a wall around Nikki. It was a wall that was holding her emotions in. Yeah. It was like she was trapped in a prison okay. of resentment. Now, um, and, and she was just going through this cycle of anguish and anger and hurtful emotion. And it was like amplifying this confinement, this, this being trapped in this box. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. And do you know what? Do you know what, George, twin brother? Do you know who had the key to that box that she was locked in? Her ex-husband. Her husband at the time. Okay. He was holding the key. She had given him the key that she was feeling this way. It's not that he wanted to have the key of her feeling like this. Mm. He was... You know, living out, he was living the life of Riley. He was happy with what he was doing. Sure. And he had made a decision to do what he was doing. But he was holding the key of her anguish. She had given away her life her to, this, to her power to this guy. And he, he, she was allowing these emotions to be with him, you know, a, about him. Now, Here's where everything changed, you guys. There is light. Yep. There is light. At that moment, when I was looking at her, and I was sort of like just in a trance, looking at these emotions and how these negative emotions were around her, her daughter comes skipping in. <laughs> her daughter, Sophia. Sophia, isn't she gorgeous? Oh. It's supposed to be Christian, that one. <laughs> Sophia comes in with her grandchild, you know, um, Nikki's grandchild. Mm. They were skipping. They were so happy. Bonus. You know, the little grandchild, She was and she was waving this picture in her hand. God, they look gorgeous. Okay. She comes, she sits down next to, to Nikki, and the whole body language and every, every single cell, Every single muscle, every single organ of Nikki changed. All of a sudden, she was on a in a heightened state. Ooh. The depiction of love, the depiction of connection, joy. the joy, and um, she was looking at a pic the picture that her grandchild had had drawn yeah. of 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 Nikki and and the grandchild. Everything shifted. Everything was transformed. It was beautiful. Okay. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. It was, the whole demeanor had changed. Now, and what I saw was a transcendence of anger towards her ex-husband had shifted in an instant, in an instant, dude. Okay. In an instant, mm -hmm. dudes, to from fury to love, and from fury chaos. and yep, from resentment to warmth, 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 warmth. Okay, and what came to mind at that moment? I had an aha moment. Uh huh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh huh. Total aha moment. At that moment. Um, you know the tools which I love with um, Phil Stutes 
and Barry Mo um, Mikel, Michelle. Their book came to mind, and what's I, the book called? Uh, the Tools. Oh, okay. I made these guys close their eyes, and I want you guys to do it too. And I want you to deal with the cosmic forces right now. And I want you to have the ability right now to break free from the mazes of anger. Mm. And I want you guys to construct in your mind, in your mind, the process of generating love, total love. Yeah. And I want you guys to get the key right now to liberation. And I am going to tell you a. I'm going to give you a key that Nikki exercised that totally transformed her life. Okay. And so here we go. And it's navigated through visualization. So any of you that are listening, I want you guys to do this activity with me. And here it goes. It's a journey of, if you want, you can close your eyes and do this. It's a journey of releasing pain into cosmic healing light. And it's challenging love, believe it or not, to the wrongdoer. It's a practice that defies every natural instinct. Wow. And it's impact is profound so here we go are you guys ready yep. oh, it's a beautiful thing you guys let's go imagine yourself paddling upstream and you're holding this resentment this pain this betrayal you're holding it now at that moment, you are only to be propelled into a healing light. This light is so bright and so beautiful, and it's just warming every part of your body, every cell, every muscle, every part of your body, and it's bringing you into this light. This light of love, total, pure love. It's just showering you and it's trickling through all your body. And upon the one that hurts you, the one that has hurt you, mm -hmm. you just see the cycling, healing light going around the body of the one that hurts you. And this, right at this moment, is where the healing begins. The love that you have for this person is circling through him. It's going through every part of his body. Or her body. Or okay. her body, or her body. And it's leaving them, and it's going towards you. And it's washing away the maze or, or the or the box that you have put yourself in and the cycles of pain that you are in the whirlwind or the the maze or whatever you want to call it that you are in. And with the bright light, the bright light is actually washing away. And freeing you from the pain, wow. the resentment, the anger. And this self-imposed prison has dissipated. Nice. Dissipated. It's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone. And it feels so good. Nice. And Nikki, at that moment, at that moment, she was tramped. She what? She was tramped, trapped in a cycle of resentment. Yeah. She embraced the forgiveness. 
she embraced love and she, it wasn't about condoning the hurt it wasn't about releasing the hold that it had on her it's just that transformation no? yeah this was an instantaneous but over time she learned paradigm shift to be assertive from that the is. place of love She's awesome. she was assertive She's from the place of love isn't that beautiful so instead of being angry and resentful she was able and she resolved whatever she had to resolve with this guy who betrayed her with confidence and empathy i'm going to say it again from a place of I love you, twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't stop there. Okay. Okay, because what happened is she decided to get a divorce, but it was from a place of love. It was from a place of peace, and That's it was fr it was really from a place of. Be nice if every divorce was like that. True, true story, true story. It was just from a place of love. My question to you is this. Her ex-husband wanted her back because he saw this woman that was radiating love. Mm -hmm. Do you think she should go back to him? It's a stupid question to me. Certainly not. No? I wouldn't know. Sorry. I'm asking you guys. Type your uh, answer, guys. We want to, uh, when you guys uh, see this, type your answer, yes or no. Go back or not go back. Because all that glitters wasn't gold on his path. Okay. Now, right. Nikki's journey is about empowerment. It, she made a choice that was in line with her growth. Mm. Growth. Growth. Um, yeah, she was able to forgive. She was transformed. She she was able to reconcile. You know, she was there was a reconciliation process of how she um, behaved before towards him. Sure, sure. But the power of love to heal this betrayal. Okay, and so this journey. Okay, this journey of of Nikki led to the healing and unexpected unexpected doors, unexpected doors open to her and there was just this brilliance of love, yeah, and so um, how do you handle betrayal and hurt, would you be able to find the courage, okay this is a big one, um, to forgive and love, would you find the courage? Maybe I'm just a stubborn bastard. No, no, I love my twin brother. But would you find the courage, twin, to detach from anger? Get out of that maze. Get out of that maze of anger and choose a path of liberation. Okay. Would you be able to forgive? And liberate yourself from the chain of the cosmic force down <laughs> of love. Yeah. And allow healing. Nice. Yeah. That's it. Fabulous. Big one. Betrayal. That's it. Any That's idea what next slides next week's slides on? Well, that is for you guys to remember, to think of. Okay. You know what, you guys? I would love you guys to tell us some ideas about our lives. You know, um, give us some ideas of what you would like to see. Mm. All right, guys, hit that uh, subscribe button. Yep. Dare to begin life coaching. And, and I love you guys. I love you guys. Yep. Um, and remember, you guys, um, you can you can find other podcasts like this on thatsbeenanicola.com and you can follow us on Facebook and our Facebook group there to begin life coaching. TikTok. 
TikTok, yeah, Instagram, whatever, Instagram, know, whatever. Yeah. Love you guys heaps. Peace. Love. Rainbows. <laughs> and remember, you guys, live your life. Don't stay stuck. Peace, guys. Later. Love you. Love you heaps. Okay. No, wait. Wait.